Allow me to show you something. warm um uh I, I didn't really expect to be vlogging but here we are making a video let me give you a bit of context of what's going on so ellie and i have come down to cornwall uh, with a couple of our friends rosie and zane who you may have remembered from previous videos uh over the last uh six seven years or so uh australia all sorts of places um really good friends of ours anyway they uh they have this cottage uh in the family and We've, uh, we've come to stay in Cornwall and it has been such a delight. Just one of those times where you just wanna get away, there is absolutely no signal. <laughs> so there's no connectivity to the internet. There's just, it, it's a pure retreat type thing. So originally uh, we planned this trip that we we're gonna come to Cornwall and just switch off from everything, um, no work whatsoever. But the funny thing is when you enjoy your work, <laughs> as I do with cameras, uh, you kind of always still want to bring a camera and even though we came to have like a getaway, a bit of holiday, um, I still find myself working and that, that is okay. But let me tell you a little bit about what we've been doing and uh, what's going on here and yeah, just hopefully show you some good vibes because I think the footage that I've captured um, has been pleasant. So for those of you who are unaware of the geography of the UK, Cornwall is the most southern county in the UK. Uh, it's the very last sliver, that little tip at the bottom in the southwest, um, a couple of hours away from where I grew up uh, in, uh, in Somerset. When the weather is glorious like it is for us this past week, it just, it shines. It's brilliant. So yeah, Cornwall is a, is a, a great little escape uh, for a lot of people. And we've been visiting like different beaches and um, having some good food and spending a lot of time at the cottage just chilling and having good drinks, fire, uh, open night sky. I've been doing some images, uh, actually posted on my stories. I managed to get an image out there. Um, posted on my stories, a handheld night long exposure and captured some of the stars and some extra sort of clusters. Of I'm not into astrophotography that much to, to recognize the, the constellations I was looking at, but I was blown away by the picture I took on my iPhone uh, to the point that we then tested a bit more and did some long exposures uh, with the R5 and just having some fun, chilling. As much as the original plan was that we would uh, really, you know, escape from everything, um, I am actually incredibly glad that I did bring my cameras and definitely glad that I brought the C70. So yeah, in the last couple of weeks or so, I've had a bit of a commercial project on the side with Adobe again. This is a, a campaign that's going live sometime in a couple of weeks, I believe, maybe a little bit later. I've been doing a lot of filming in London with the C70. Um, and just really sort of like 
taking it to the next level and things. It's, it's one of the reasons why I bought this camera so that I could work on, on bigger projects and have those um, just more dedicated video features and functions. And I've been thoroughly enjoying it and yeah, just getting to know the camera so much more. Previously, I think I mentioned in a, in a video a while back that I'd struggled a little bit with the color. And I think one of the issues I was having is I was comparing it to this R5 a lot of the time. And this is before I'd done the firmware update and the color gamut. The R5 previously was just using the BT709 and uh, this was using the Canon Cinema gamut. Now with the firmware of the R5, I'm able to create a cinema gamut of this and I can compare um, uh, the two together and working in a, the cinema gamut space um, and being conscious that I'm using stuff in cinema gamut, um, the results have been superior uh, because of it. So I'm very happy with uh, the extra sort of testing and footage that I've been doing with this. Uh, likewise, I, uh, I bought a new microphone. Um, so this is the Rode NTG5. I'm a big fan of Rode as a brand. Uh, they, they continually make great quality products at very competitive pricing. Uh, I've been eyeing up for months and months different microphones between the Sennheiser MKH416, um, the Deity S2, even the Rode NTG3, like a whole host of comparative shotgun microphones for use on rigs like this, but also uh, in my office at home. I came to the NTG5 um, after many months of uh, testing uh, or watching testing videos and comparative videos. And so far, I am very impressed with the quality of this mic. It's about half the price of the Sennheiser MKH416, which is a legendary mic. The, the pickup is great, the, the sound and the warmth, and just in comparison to my NTG4+, Plus, which I'd had for four or five years, maybe even longer, I've realized just how bad <laughs> that microphone was. And um, yeah, so any footage on the C70 where um, the microphone sounds good, uh, that would be this one, hopefully. So a whole host of things, really, that I'm, uh, I'm kind of testing and, and doing. Um, and uh, yeah, good vibe. So I'm, I'm sort of adding this in, uh, talking to the camera, as a way of uh, piecing it together because, you know, as you know, when I make vlogs, I don't necessarily want to over plan them. I like to just let things happen and flow. And as it's turned out over the last few days that we've been here, I've been filming a lot. I haven't talked to the camera. Um, so here we are, updating you all. And as also following on from my Fuji recipe videos, I have been thoroughly enjoying just capturing the photos that we've had over the last few days, because this has been a social experience and um, shooting in JPEG only um, has just really helped with that. So I've been using my Cozy Chrome mostly on the X-T4. Uh, both Ellie and I have been shooting with the X-T4, so we've got images between both of us. Um, of things and uh, yeah I just wanted to piece together some footage and uh, show you uh, some of the experiences we've had because um, I am pretty pumped about some of the clips we got so anyway that is a uh, rambly waffle of all sorts of things and uh, I hope you enjoy this footage um, yeah all right let's get ready for the day <laughs> 